We've already used up all of our layer feed, or not all of it, but that whole barrel we bought before uh, in the fall time, it's already gone. And that's all of our chicken feed for our egg layers. But I actually forgot that we had more in this barrel. I, I overbought last time. It's really nothing much going on on our homestead. We got some egg layers, you know, but we're, we're starting to plan for this year as far as what we want to do. You know, do we want to get more pigs? I was hoping to get them in the winter, but that didn't happen. <laughs> Guys, we've had an awesome response to our online private community group plus our chicken butchering workshops because I know some of you guys want to get off of Facebook and that's why we created this group because it's ours uh, it's not on any social media platforms it's our own and you can access it through an app which is amazing Bernice good morning Bernice <laughs> how you doing fuzzy buggies good morning Cinderella guys one of our best egg layers. She turned out to be really nice. Little Freddy. Used to be Hilda. Got some three eggs in here. All right, four eggs so far. These new chickens of ours that we got last year, they're, they're starting to ramp up their egg production. And they've been giving us about seven eggs a day so far. We have 14 or 15 egg layers, but four of them are already five years old. Wow, guys, we've been here five years. <laughs> where's it going? Where's all, the, where's all this going? Now the trick is, don't crush them in your pocket. Some of you guys know what I mean. It's bound to happen. <laughs> oh, Cinderella, get in there. <laughs> this part of the season of winter is when everything's really soggy here. Muddy. This is probably about the coldest months right here, January, February. Um, we still, we're still getting some snow off and on. We're gonna get some more snow, I believe, this week. But it's also the time of year where you're about done with winter. You're missing all the greens and, and uh, wanting to really start your garden. But like I was saying, we're in a weird, a weird season for us right now, which we've never experienced. And that is, you know, we have talked about it here, but you know, we want to move. We want a little bit larger area. And I feel like this year is the year. That doesn't mean it's gonna happen. We want it to happen. But will it? I don't know. So we're in that weird spot of not sure how much I want to do. There's stuff that I want to do. If we're going to move, I I don't want to do it, you know? Like I want to save it and just do it at the next property, but but then we might not move. So <laughs> we're in this weird kind of si situation, I feel. But with that being said, you know, we still got to grow food. We still need to get meat chickens, which we're going to start ordering meat chickens today. Um, you know, we need to start seeds still, you know, still a little bit too early for that for us. Yes, I do want to get pigs this year. And I'm thinking we're just going to, we're just going to go ahead and do it. Whether we're here or not, you know, we can always move the animals to wherever we go. But at least we started. And if we end up staying here this year, then, you know, we still got to eat meat. We still got to grow some vegetables. So it's still going to happen. The fact that we're having this conversation right now is such a huge step for us. But just because we want to do that doesn't mean it's going to happen. Freddie's been a good rooster. You've been a good boy, Freddie. I'm, I'm enjoying having you. 
He's a little skittish. He doesn't let me hold him, but maybe that's typical of a rooster. He might crow late afternoon a little bit, but he'll start crowing at 6 a.m. on the dot. So he's been my, my alarm clock. All right, but before we order meat chickens, we need to get some coffee going and we need to have some breakfast. Another thing we have going on today is we have a realtor coming over. Not quite sure how this is all going to play out uh, if we eventually move from here, um, but we're taking those steps to try and figure that out. Also, this house is spotless. Lorraine's making some oatmeal. Mm -hmm. I like to sneak in a little bit of some lion's mane into our oatmeal and that helps with like memory and mental health and our focus. So we'll be really focused today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta ship out some orders. Also, some of you guys have been buying some hats. You guys have been shopping it up lately. We got some hats and some stickers. Uh, that's pretty much all we have on our Etsy shop is uh, some merch. That's my hat stash, my sticker stash. Where's my Bernice magnet? There you go, Bernice magnet. One of the tricks that we learned to clean our glass window without any cleaner is you take a wet, a wet paper towel and dip it into the ashes. It literally just wipes all of the, the window smudge off. And it's gentle enough where it won't scratch the glass, but it's abrasive enough for it to get all of the hard parts off. All right, hat, hat, hat. All right, oatmeal's ready. You have an oatmeal too, Penelope? Hey guys, I just got a game camera. So we're gonna be looking at some uh, some stuff. I need to set this up and, and I'm gonna, I'll film it, guys. I'll, I'll let you know what kind of uh, predators we have out in our creek. All right, so the first time that we saw where you can actually buy chickens online. It just blew our minds. Like we had no idea that you could actually do this, but now I think it's become pretty normal for folks to do it. We're ordering our chicks from McMurray Hatchery this year. Hey, look it, we're in the magazine. <laughs> There's Fuzzy Buggins, Bernice. We're gonna show you what we're ordering. Um, they make it really easy to order. You're just gonna click on chicks, go to meat birds, and, and you know, when we say meat birds, I just don't want to be any confusion because definitely like when we first started doing this, uh, raising meat birds, I didn't know what a broiler was. Um, and so I don't want to confuse people. I don't want people to think that we're eating Bernice or egg layers. You know, there's a difference between meat birds and egg layers and broilers are the same thing as meat birds. So I guess I just don't want any confusion. Look at all the meat birds that they have available here. These are all the meat birds. And guys, when you sign up for our community, for our online workshops that we have going on this week, you have uh, McMurray Hatchery is giving us 10% off the top tier folks who sign up. Uh, and that's 10% uh, off four different meat birds. Not just the Cornish crosses that they have on this, but also the Murray's Big Red Broilers that we loved last, doing last year. These ones right here. Murray's Big Red Broilers. They have three options, males, females, unsexed. We like to get the unsexed one because it's just really a mixture of roosters and hens. Now for us, we do not vaccinate our chickens. Preferably, if we could help it, we will tell them don't vaccinate. And that's because I don't think it's needed. I mean, we raise our chickens on grass, we raise them in the sunshine, we raise them in fresh air. Uh, we don't keep them in a warehouse or in con total confinement. Um, we, they are outside and that I feel is enough to keep them really healthy. And plus we move them around it like twice a day. Uh, you can't get any healthier bird than that. We got our calendar here. This is our 2021 calendar that we like to go through and really just start uh, setting up when we want to get these chickens. Hopefully we can get chickens on March 22nd that week. That's when we'll get our first chickens in and then go from there. And then we'll also get another batch of red birds the end of May 
and then we'll butcher our first meat chickens that we got in March about middle of June. I'm already having people sign up to our member area our, that's uh, not on Facebook and I think people really enjoy that. The workshops, they're only available this week and we're gonna open it back up in a week and the reason for that is, you know, once you purchase the workshop, a workshop, either tier one or tier two, uh, you will have access to that workshop plus access to the community and all the bonuses that come with it for the entire year. And then after the year's over, you'll have the option of renewing. And I know some of you guys were asking too about just the community. You know, some of you guys don't want to take the workshops. They just want to be part of the community. And I totally get that, understand that. And so we're working, um, trying to figure that out, how we can offer that also in, with just the community. So look for that soon, um, hopefully by springtime, maybe sooner. <laughs> But we need to figure that out and uh, see how we can get more people in there. Um, but guys, I'll leave that link down in the show notes if you want to be part of this community, part of the workshops. Both me and Lorraine are on there. You know, we're an answering questions to everybody in the community. And guys, I really do feel like this community that we're starting, that we created, has is going to be something special. It has a potential of, of being something very, very special but um, leave a link down in the description so you can check it out.